Hey everyone, so um, I'm doing something pretty rare today. I'm doing a uh, unboxing video, which I almost never do. Um, I just purchased a uh, Galago Pro from System76, and I'm going to uh, do a quick unboxing. So I decided to take the, uh, the time to <laughs> open this up first. That I'm not fiddling with the plastic, so we can have a quick look at the uh, the box itself. If you're familiar with um, any of uh, System 76's uh, products, these boxes will look very familiar. Um, they uh, they have some pretty amazing uh, artwork for uh, the laptops that they ship, and um, a very sustainable sustainable packaging method. Um, basically, everything is cardboard, so if for some crazy reason you'd want to recycle this artwork, and <laughs> and I'm certainly not going to do it, this stuff looks beautiful, um, you can recycle uh, almost 100% of the, uh, the um, packaging, which I think is a massive um, benefit to uh, anyone who is... Uh, into sustainability. Um, I'm gonna hit pause really quick and unwrap the laptop. Okay, so we're back and I just opened up the laptop here. This is the uh, Galago Pro and uh, I didn't mention it earlier but this video is being recorded uh, at the end of November in 2018 if uh, you're curious. This is the uh, the third revision of the Galago Pro so it's the uh, GAL P3, I think, is the uh, the item number. And you'll see the only sticker is the uh, Core i7 sticker. Um, they used to have an i5 version up until recently, uh, but when I made the purchase of this uh, laptop, the i7 was the only version um, available. I haven't turned it on just yet. I also wanted to give you a sense of how small the uh, power brick is for this thing. Um, it's probably the size of uh, uh, an old style like bubble, j uh, bubble gum um, um, box. I mean, if you get a sense from, from the size of my thumb, which you wouldn't know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty small. So this is a 40 watt. Um, oh, I got it upside down. Oh man, why can't, there you go. Uh, 40 watt chickeny, uh, power adapter. It's roughly the same size as my old Toshiba NB505, uh, power adapter. It might actually be smaller. So this 40 watt, uh, power adapter is going to be charging, uh, the battery on this thing. And, uh, and, uh, I have to admit, uh, when I was looking to purchase a laptop. It was between this and um, the Oryx Pro. And what finally made me decide to uh, go with the smaller uh, model is partly the uh, the power brick and um, the fact that I'm a web developer. Um, this is going to be used for uh, presentations and um, meetups going to uh, uh, conferences and, and the like. So having a 2.87 pound uh, laptop, something that's sub three pounds, was uh, really the big sell for me. Um, and uh, the Oryx Pro, although it only weighs about 4.4 pounds, I believe, uh, that's the 15 inch model that's currently available, um, having a dedicated graphics card was uh, something that was just a little bit more, too much more power than I needed for uh, for a uh, mobile laptop. Um, if I want to have the ability to um, uh, have additional power, I'm definitely going to want that in a desktop. Um, and a little bit, I mean, it's a little bit more cost effective too, I think. So I'm going to pause the video one more time and, uh, and uh, we'll uh, boot this thing up. Okay, so in this video, I'm not going to be showing the uh, the ports because uh, it's the evening and the lighting is really uh, terrible in my house. Uh, 
I don't have a ton of overhead light. So uh, there is a power switch right to the left of the caps lock key. Um, and um, the, uh, what's going to go ahead and hit that? All right. So uh, you saw that the backlight came on. And it looks like it's starting to power up. There's a little bit of uh, coloration going on there. Oh, there we go. Got ourselves a nice little uh, BIOS. Uh, that's not a BIOS screen. So I have not set this up yet. And so um, I'm going to be a little clumsy here using one hand to set up the machine. So I might hit pause a few times. We're going to take out, check out the, uh, the initial setup. I'm going to say United States, English, default keyboard, and I'm going to pause, uh, I'm going to pause and uh, do a password and some encryption. One second. All right, so I went through the uh, password and encryption part of the the video and it looks like it's partitioning the drive. Um, I'm gonna guess that it's already been partitioned because System76 does a great job of setting it up but since I didn't um, select encryption it's gonna have to go through a, bit, a little bit of a process for the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this uh, leave this going in real time so you get an idea on how long the uh, initial setup takes. So we're currently at uh, 70%. I know it's working a little bit. The, uh, the fan just uh, kicked in very, uh, very lightly. Um, some initial comments, since I haven't actually used the system yet. Um, kind of a fan of this keyboard. Uh, it's nice. My wife has a... Uh, um, an Apple product, uh, one of those uh, fruit things. Um, and I've always liked the chiclet style keyboards. Unfortunately, my old Lemur uh, 4 uh, didn't have a chiclet style keyboard. So, okay, enough. Uh... Oh, look, we're already done while I was rambling. Oh, the trackpad's got some nice... Uh, Nice texture that's, oh, that's that's actually really nice. Okay, so we're rebooting for the first time. I'm going to do a review later um, after I've had the system for about a month. Hold on, let me hit pause. Okay, so I just set up the um, encryption password. And now it's going to, uh, cool, let me do my uh, user setup. I am a big fan of Pop! OS, uh, and uh, I didn't think I would at first. I, I gave the, uh, System76 a little bit of design feedback over, oh, sorry for the focus, during the early part of the process, and I'm, I'm happy to say that they, they listened to, to me and uh, appreciated some of it. Uh, I'm going to skip this for now because I have a super long password for my Wi-Fi. Uh... I'm going to leave location services on because I do actually appreciate having uh, local weather. One moment, I'm going to type in my, uh, my location. So I selected uh, Los Angeles. I live in uh, LA County, so that's close enough. I'm going to connect my accounts later. These things just take too much time and there's really no point. One moment, I'm going to uh, set up my uh, name and, and uh, photo. So I set up a temporary um, ID and uh, photo using the webcam. It was decent. Oh, hold on one more second. So I just hit uh, return on my password and it looks like I'm ready to start using Pop! OS. So it looks like it's going to go straight into uh, the login screen. Oh. No, no, no. They went straight to my account, which is nice. So. Um, I'm going to start playing with this thing. 
So I hope this was uh, somewhat useful of an unboxing. I will be doing a uh, review video in about a month. I'm not a, really a huge fan of people reviewing hardware they haven't used for more than 10-15 minutes. So um, <laughs> I am going to uh, use this at a, at a couple meetups, uh, take it to work a few times, talk about the weight, um, talk about the graphics, talk about the screen, and try to go over uh, um, some of the um, downsides too. I'm expecting the only real downside I'm going to have with this system, though, is uh, battery life. But with such a small power adapter that weighs about 10 ounces, um, I don't think that's going to be a problem for me. Well, thanks for watching this video, and uh, hope to see you in the next one.